Hello and welcome to the Hobo and his Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend is actually at class learning about photography. Probably she knows more than I could write down on a little notepad. Or she's forgotten more than I can remember. Again, I just came from a little good hoboing trip. And now it's time to talk about SmackDown. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, a couple of programming notes. This, I'm finally off my suspension. So tomorrow I'm going to try live streaming. streaming. Probably around 2.10, I'll post that. Probably after I get this video up. To make an event stuff and look up kind of notes about how to do stuff on YouTube that I've been banned from doing. Um, also, I'm going to have a live stream event, probably a good three hour live stream this Sunday. I know I do have to work close, so probably again, there's going to be more details to follow probably tomorrow after Lucha Underground, or Lucha Underground review. Um, there'll be more details about my second live stream event, which is going to detail Extreme Rules. That's right. And then this 19th, just for you folks, Hobo Tom is going back to NXT. NXT is coming to Daytona Beach Live at the multi, at the cultural center. Here in downtown Daytona Beach on Thursday, July 19th. I think gates open at 7 o'clock. You might see me there. I'll be there with my trusty, trusty notepad, my hobo camera, getting things set up for an NXT review again there now that they're back into Daytona Beach. Woohoo! And then hopefully I'll see you next couple Sundays from now. WWE Live is coming to town. Then the 31st, they're at Tampa. I think August 7th, they're coming back to Orlando. So we'll see. I'm hopefully going to put a lot more content up. I know I still have to go through, still have to go through an old SmackDown card. I think it's just going to be a whole bunch of videos, and I'm just going to try and figure out what I can remember from that event. And that was before I started live streaming. So we'll we'll see how wonky things are. So I do have to go through my video cards. Too many, too many cluttering up the desk. But again, I'd like to like to welcome everyone again. Thank you. If you've left a comment, subscribed, you have to check the emails. I think when I make this, like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, my name is Hobo Tom, and this is the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. So let's talk. Let's do some podcasting. Let's talk about SmackDown. SmackDown is so amazing compared to Raw. I mean, they packed wrestling in. It was fun. It started off on Miz TV. Miz brings down Team Hell No. Again, tries to stir the pot. Oh, so good. So good is the Miz. Daniel Bryan looked like he wanted just to punch him right in the face. Again, Miz TV again, he just stirs the pot. Again, then he Miz finally gets saved by the Bludgeon Brothers. So, with the Bludgeon Brothers coming down, you now have Team Hell No of Daniel Bryan getting beat up by the Bludgeon Brothers. Sanity shows up, beats up Team Hell No, and of course the New Day show up. So again, this sets up for, for, for a tag team 10 men match. And again, it was kind of it was a fun beginning. At least when they do promos and all the talking pieces on SmackDown, they do so with purpose. And again, it is what it was. This led to the first match of the night. Oh, it also leads a new match, and I have to add that on, of the New Day versus Sanity in a tables match, which is on the pre-show, so I'll, at least I'll be able to show some of the results about what happened. Again, check me out tomorrow at 
Two ten, I think. Again, I'll post that more so later. First live stream event. Be fun. So our first match was Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. This was an amazing surf and turf match. The only thing that kept it from being a filet mignon match is the fact that I've seen so often and you're familiar with it. And they did let him work for about 20 minutes, though. It, it was good. I mean, one of the highlights is, of course, come on! Shinsuke says that, then all of a sudden, AJ, come on! Bullet Club, wall, 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 for life! Because I'm too sweet! Versus Chaos again for the upteenth time. Eh, kind of getting old. I mean, if they keep on doing this, a cheeseburger match. Oh, I didn't find out that the third person in the six-man tag, it's going to be AJ Styles with... Oh, I forget everyone else. Jeff Hardy and... I forget now. Someone else. Versus The Miz, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Joe. Daniel Bryan, that's that's it. So yeah, that's going to set up hopefully a Daniel Bryan Miz feud. That, that, that'll be fun. There were some teases to the break of Hell No. Hell No is kind of kind of a little fun thing for now. Yeah, I think I stopped watch, watching wrestling then because it got kind of goofy. I think once, I mean, you see one Braun panties match, you've seen them all. and Yeah. The wrestling at one time in the WWE minus top people was so so. But again, Shinsuke and AJ Styles can almost do no wrong. I mean, Rusev come out, he's a distraction. So Nakamura gets an early advantage on him. Again, AJ Styles. It's just amazing. And Rusev is so good as a heel commentator. It's fun. I mean, he just runs down... <laughs> Rusev runs down <laughs> both Saxon and Phillips. Yeah, and just an amazing back and forth with AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. Eventually, he goes to the outside. I think Aiden English is involved. Punches and holds AJ Styles. Sets him up for the Kinshasa. AJ Styles gets out of the way. In English, eats a Kinshasa. Rusev gets involved. And then Jeff Hardy gets involved because all of a sudden it's a three on one. Jeff Hardy comes in and makes a save. Holla, holla, holla! We have a new tag team match. Maybe it's just me, but, but Paige's boobies got bigger. Or her. Tops are going lower. Again, don't tell my girlfriend. But again, it was it was a fun match. Again, this was a surf and turf tossed together match. The only bad news is I don't think Rusev's winning. Math says you stand tall, you lose. And we'll get more into the predictions tomorrow. But again, a fun match. It, it shows Rusev's power, how strong he is, um, his obvious strength advantage against AJ Styles. Then with Jeff Hardy, Nakamura, good tease. They could really do some good stuff in the ring. And if, if they're allowed to, Rusev had the classic stunner jump. He should be the U.S. champion just because of that. The fact that he sold that like a good old-fashioned selling of a Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. And again, with that, Rusev won. Rusev's not winning Sunday. And then the weird arena, Manchester, New Hampshire. And then weird stage shut up. This led to the the Lumberjack Woman match, the intergender match with Lumberjack Women. 
I'll tell you what. Mandy Rose, her bottom's lower and lower. I mean, she must shave wax and there herself. I can believe how low it went. And when my girlfriend's not here, I can say stuff like that. So my girlfriend is the most adorable, cutest, lovely, sexy, amazingly beautiful woman in the universe. She would never wear anything that low. Who's word? Mandy Rose and Boo Sonia Deville went back to wearing black. And probably not that bad because they weren't involved that much. Um, so again, this led up to the Ellsworth versus Asuka. And I hate to do this. It's a ham sandwich. Get up here. There it is. Ham sandwich. And probably mainly because of the buildup of everything. Oh, oh, okay, okay, listen. Not, not all of this was a ham sandwich. Yes. Good back. There, but probably because of the buildup, I, I I expected a lot more, and I think it was pretty quick. I mean, Ellsworth just tries to be the cowardly heel. And when did Ellsworth get his own theme music? It's weird. Again, you have the typical lumberjack brawl. Naomi and Lynch catch Ellsworth escaping. We literally carry him back to the ring, which was kind of cool. But Oscar wins, but Carmella stood tall because she came in. Ellsworth kind of suckered Oscar or held Oscar while Carmella gave her that low super kick. Carmella might lose. Carmella, careful of the math. And again, it's just. Short, cliche is for a lumberjack match. Although Oscar did have an amazing spot where she did a top rope, top rope suicide dive, and just landed on everyone. That was kind of cool. I think she hit everyone except for, except for Ellsworth. Try to sneak away, sneak back into the ring. And again, you have an, you have another good promo with the new day. <laughs> Hell no. Big E's the best. He called. I don't know if he did it on purpose. And this might be again old. I remember the Wu Tang Clan with the Ghost Face Killer. He called Daniel Bryan the Goat Face Killer. And it was really good though. I and mean, just shows how they're building up the other team, the Heels, the Bludgeon Brothers, and Sanity are the. Stoppable crazy, crazy people, which is great. And then we had, there was another great match. Again, the wrestling minus the Ellsworth intergender match was amazing. I mean, you had Sinkar versus Andrade Sin Almas El Iglo. I mean, came out wearing his mask. Him and Selena Vega were wearing kind of matching outfits, kind of that shimmery gold. This was good. I mean, almost like a million bucks. Selena Vega like got out of the sun for a little bit. She looks a little bit not as tan as she used to. At one point, there was the double tranquilo, which is excellent. Sankara is really good. I mean, this this was a this wasn't a great match. This was a darn good match. It was it was like this cheese. The hey, here we go. She's part of her match. And it's really fun. And it really highlighted a lot of things Sin, Sin Cara could do. I mean, you never realize how good a wrestler Sin Cara is. I mean, he always seen Bachi. This is, this is a, a Unico Sin Cara. And it just shows what he can do when he's allowed to work with someone who knows the Lucha style. It was a good Lucha Libre match. Something you see out of CMLL or AAA. And even Lucha Underground. I mean, this was really fun. It was really good. It, it, it show, I'll tell you what, it showcased Sin Cara more than it showcased Andrade Cien Almas. Again, Andrade Cien Almas had all his NXT moves. It was fun. It was good. It was just the way it should be. 
Then you have a promo with Sandy and the Bludgeon Brothers. Nikki Cross needs to be with Sanity. I think there was a SmackDown show where Nikki Cross was in a dark match. Oh, wow. I wonder. It would be so cool to get a picture of Nikki Cross before she gets to SmackDown. That would be cool. But we'll see. See what happens if Nikki Cross shows up. Jeez, I should just get in line. Let's get some selfies with people. I do need more selfies. Never hurts. As long as I don't get picked up by Chris Dijak, he could probably pick me up and toss me around. Or like the way Heavy Machinery just picked up my sister once. <laughs> like, hey, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Again, I'll have to tell wrestling stories later. I have to find that picture from her one day. Again, Nikki Cross needs to be there. Nikki Cross really completed Sanity. Sanity just seems to be lacking without her. And this led to the 10-man tag match. You know, the New Day and Team Hell No versus Sanity and the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, and this was really fun and a lot better than I thought. What the... I get this... It's a cheeseburger match. It was fun. It was good. It was actually not what I expected. Because normally you get these 10 men to use the words of Simon Miller. I, I quote, the smosh match. I mean, this was fun. I mean, Woods was getting a beating. I mean, it was amazing. Oh, and I just wanted to point out that AJ Styles is truly amazing. So I think he wrestled for almost 45, 50 minutes which is New Japan-esque. I just wanted to toss that out there because AJ Styles is phenomenal. And I saw him leaving a show and I pulled up and I was leaving the exit and I'm like, hey, that guy looks like AJ Styles. Wait a second, that's, that's, for, the, that's for the performer's exit. I'm like, wait a second, that's the performer's exit. He looks like AJ Styles. It's AJ Styles! Looks like Charlotte Flair and has <laughs> has a sequiny robe and feathers, feathery robe like Charlotte Flair. Guess who you saw? You saw Charlotte Flair. And yeah, it was fun though. I mean, Woods took a beating. I mean, the faces got all their spots in. The only thing, um, I, oh, before I get to that, I wonder if Daniel Bryan. As Brian Danielson ever wrestled Eric Young when he was when they were in the indie scenes. Again, if like, share, comment, say Hobo Tom, you don't know what you're talking about, go back on the street. Or you know what, Hobo Tom, I remember that. Send us YouTube clips of that. Or find videos of that. Man, it was a fun match. The only bad thing is that the face is one, which the math says faces are going to lose come extreme rules. And why can't I keep, keep on remembering extreme rules? Again, then was a tease between Brian and Kane. Coming apart. Brian just, I tell you what, Brian just seems to be enjoying himself and he, he, he deserves it. Yeah, well, that was SmackDown. About 20 minutes. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Got a few dislikes. Again, please let me know what you dislike. And you're saying you're too bland. Blah. Maybe it could be they want more girlfriend. Unless Hobo Tom. Hey, that's a valid reason. Again, emails, comments, subscriptions. Again, once we get to the perfect 10, I have the perfect 10 pizza party. I'm going to have to save that gift I have. We'll get a new gift. And thanks to everyone for watching. And we'll have a good night. Look for Hobo Tom at your local daytime as well. And one day I'm going to go to a Go Wrestle event, which is like the local promotion. I'll put videos up about them too. Okay, everyone take care. Have a good night. Bye.